This is a yellow-bellied slider that presented to us from St. Francis Wildlife, who had unfortunately been run over by a car. As you can see, he's got a pretty severe shell fracture um, with exposure of abdominal contents. The fracture extends all the way to the backside and a crack across the plaster on the bottom. We're going to attempt to fix this and wire this shut to give this guy a chance to heal. So we are in surgery now on the yellow belly slider. And as you can see, we have actually taken wire, multiple wires over the edge of the shell. And we've drilled holes and our plan is to reattach the shell by twisting the wires into place. Um, this will provide, provide a position while the bone heals. And essentially that's what the shell is, is bone and uh, also allow it to manage the wound from all uh, the contamination from the injury. Here we are twisting the first wire down. The whole idea is to cinch this into place. And we twist until each is in that position. And here we are with the shell repair finished. As you can see, the individual wires have been twisted, bringing the fractured segment back into very close apposition. This will be managed by St. Francis Wildlife over the next few months as this can take literally three to six months to fully heal. And the finished product, as you can see, we have twisted the wire down, we have cut the wire short and pushed them down flat so uh, to reduce drag when this guy gets to moving around and walking around again. But it's a nice solid repair and the gaps here over time will fuse in just like any other fractured bone would. We also put on the underside one wire there to oppose the fracture that was going across the plaster on. There are some open wounds and obviously with the degree of contamination that we had with this, this is, uh, does carry a guarded prognosis, but 